What is going on everyone and welcome to the Upper 90 YouTube Soccer Channel. Today's Thursday, so we're making our predictions for week 8 in the Premier League. So stick around as we dive deeper into this. For those who don't know who I am, my name is Mike. I'm a Chelsea fan, which makes me biased when I pick that team. So whoever they're playing most likely is not going to win. Not because I'm a fan of them, but because Chelsea's that much better. They're the champions of Europe. So we really shouldn't be surprised that they can beat any team on any given day. But they're not the first match that we're talking about. The first one is going to be Watford versus Liverpool. Now, I think this is a fairly easy one to pick here. Liverpool most likely win this game. I think they're going to win 4-1 against Watford. The second game then we have is Villa versus Wolves. This one I think will be a little bit closer, even though Wolves still have been struggling this season. I think Villa will probably easily win this game as well, even though, again, they've had some injuries. But again, overall, they are the better team. I see them winning 3-1. Following that, then, we have Leicester City versus Manchester United. Now, this game, I feel like should have a lot more hype for it, but I just have a feeling in my gut watching this game is going to be very dull and boring. I don't know why, but I think this is going to be one of those games that's going to end nil-nil. I don't see Leicester doing anything, yet somehow if they get a clean sheet, that will be a positive for them because their defense has been just absolutely atrocious this entire season. I'm not sure what happened to them. They used to be so good, but this year they've been letting up so many goals. Casper, Casper Schmeichel has been able to save as many shots, and therefore, if they get the clean sheet, this will be a win for them. As for Manchester United, they should win this game, but again, I don't see them scoring. I feel like they're going to be very stagnant, have some issues. I say this now and watch them go and score five goals in this game, but overall, I think this is going to be a nil-nil draw. Following that, then, we have Manchester City versus Burnley. Again, another easy pick here. Manchester City should win this one. Fairly confident on this one. 2-0. I think Manchester City is obviously the better team. I don't think Burnley has the firepower to even score a goal against this elite team. So, therefore, again, I think they're going to go draw or goalless in this game. And, therefore, it's going to be a 2-0 win for Manchester City. Following that, then we have the real big game, Norwich versus Brighton. Now, I joke because Norwich has been playing absolutely terrible as well. They have one point this entire season after seven games, and therefore, I don't see them getting a point this week either. I see them losing to Brighton by one goal. I think Brighton's going to score just one goal. I'm not sure who exactly that's going to be, but I think this is going to be more of a scrappy game to say the least, but again, Brighton is a better team, and I see them winning this and then controlling the game throughout this entire match. After that, then, we have Southampton versus Leeds United. Now, Southampton are going to be out with James Ward-Prowse due to his red card he picked up against Chelsea prior to the break, and I think that's going to have a huge effect on this team because, again, he is the engine. He's the guy that really can drive this team forward, score goals from a free kick, place a nice ball into the box for someone else to score. And because he's not on the pitch, they are going to struggle with their next couple of matches. Now, I see them losing this game 3-0. I think Leeds themselves will have an easy time kind of going up and down the pitch, down the flanks and all those things. Patrick Bamford, I don't think will be back yet this game, but I don't think it's going to make a difference. Leeds United are a team that can always score goals. I think they're going to have an easy game this week against Southampton and again, win 3-0. Following that, then we have the big match, my favorite match of the week, Chelsea versus Brentford. And this one shouldn't be a hard match to decide, but Anthony Taylor is going to be the ref. If you haven't watched my video on that, I recommend going and just watching that because Anthony Taylor just for some reason has this kryptonite towards Chelsea. Anytime he's ref a game, Chelsea usually lose. Their record right now is 2-11 with him as the main ref, but hopefully Chelsea can win this game. As we see, though, Brentford is a better team, nicking a point off Liverpool and Arsenal, so I think it's going to be a little bit more of a challenge for Chelsea than what people are realizing, though I see Chelsea winning this 2-0. Then on Sunday, we start with Everton versus West Ham. I think this is going to be a fairly even game for the most part. I see Everton and West Ham going back and forth on goals and ending up seeing a 2-2 draw in this match. 
Then we have Newcastle versus Tottenham. We've seen the new money show up versus the newer money with Tottenham and Newcastle. And I think Newcastle right now are still going to be a team that are going to struggle, even though they have new managers who have all this money to pump into the team itself. But I think Tottenham right now is a better team. Harry Kane is starting to find his stride just a little bit more each and every week. And once he finally does start scoring goals, He's really going to help Tottenham play so much better because right now he's been struggling. Tottenham been struggling. It seems like Sun's the only guy that really cares to be on the pitch. But I think once Harry Kane starts scoring goals, gets that hunger back, that he's really going to help this club get a little bit better throughout this entire season. And again, I see them winning 3-1 in this match. And then the last game we have is Arsenal versus Crystal Palace. I think Mikel Arteta has finally got his ducks in a row that the players are doing a little bit better with his philosophy. And I see them winning this game as well. I see them winning 2-1 against Crystal Palace. Crystal Palace, yes, are playing better than what I expected. But overall, I don't see them winning this game. Connor Gallagher, again, has been playing out of his mind for Crystal Palace. But I think Arsenal should be able to shut him down. If they're able to do that, I see them easily winning. But again, if he goes off, it could be a whole different match. But overall, I see Arsenal winning this game fairly easy. I think Crystal Palace will nick a goal right at the end. But overall, again, Arsenal winning this 2-1. So that is all I have for you on week eight for predictions. If you are new to this channel, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button down below. I greatly appreciate that. That helps grow this channel, helps get this video to more and more fans. And comment down below what you think on my predictions and who do you think is going to win this week and who do you think is going to have the biggest goal differential in this week. Again, for me, I think it's Liverpool versus Watford. Again, I think Liverpool is just going to be on a tear this entire season. They score so many goals. They've let up a few goals, but overall, they just are a goal-scoring machine and any team that plays them should be terrified. So that is it, and we will see you next time.